we will try to make sense of uh, the mandate of the president, President Tunubu, has given to service chiefs as a way of bringing insecurity in Nigeria to an end. And we have uh, Dalit Tunumoro, a security consultant, with us all morning. And we've been talking about this. Kemi, you had a question. Right. right. The, the issue of oil theft has been, you know, a major burden on the country. Nigeria incurring heavy losses, you know, on on you know, that issue of, you know, pipelines vandalized and, you know, the deeper dimensions of this oil theft. Uh, Mr. Moro, so tell us what we should, you know, get to see in the coming days. Expectedly, I had said that Mr. President came prepared. And apparently, he's in Nigeria and he has been in Nigeria. Okay, he's not one man that came from uh, overseas to begin to wanting to oversee the uh, 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 issues in the country. Oil thief has been a bane to this country. It's a racket. It has been a racket amongst some persons. Now, it, it, aside from it uh, uh, shortchanging the, the fortunes of this country, it has also enriched and fueled certain activities. Once upon a time in this country, we had the issues of the freedom fighters who obstructed the activities of the country exporting oil. It reduced the number of barrels per day that the country had to export. The late uh, president uh, Yaradoa, of blessed memory, addressed that aspect of the issue. Now, when he did, they were settled. What about those who were scooping Nigerian oil and on their own trading on them? Recently, the immediate uh, past administration recruited Tompolo. To help, protect the to help, not protect. Okay. His primary responsibility is not to protect. is to provide information concerning whatever negative activities that were going on in that region because he knows the terrain. But my challenge to that was, was that, was that not in a way belittling our own Nigerian Navy who were meant to protect the waterways. Were there no naval officers who ought to have been trained and then be deployed by way of gathering intelligence in some of those areas and reporting accordingly? Shell and some other uh, uh, oil companies left certain rigs. And those rigs were not manned or policed by the country. And so, some of these oil thieves capitalized on that and were draining the resources of this country through that uh, area. Mm. But the most painful one to me, a vessel was arrested, fully loaded. Rather than arrest that vessel and use it in the court of law as an evidence to prosecute some persons. It was set ablaze. To me, it was a deliberate act, condemnable, because it was merely meant to destroy evidences mm -hmm. and then restrict the law enforcement agencies from doing their proper job by arresting and prosecuting some persons. The moment the evidence is destroyed, then you don't have any evidence to prosecute Mr. A or Mr. B. Whatever, whoever gave that order that that vessel should be destroyed, burnt, should be arrested. There's more to it than meets the eyes of the common man. The common man cannot steal oil because he does not have the wherewithal to provide the facilities that will permit and allow for that. And I'm glad, again, that Mr. President 
is not oblivious of the fact that certain persons are draining this country of our lean resources. Mm. And so if that is visited, and the way he has given a matching order to those of them who are responsible for that particular area, put down your hand, Mike. <laughs> we will get to that point where we'll begin to get these things right. Because you ask the question and you are raising your left hand. <laughs> you're not providing me with a glass of coffee. You've been here, you've been here for far too long to no, know exactly. what that, what the, that means. No, the, okay, the, you are the, chasing me away the, now. No, the, the point there is <laughs> we have we have got a lot of information from you, and uh, because we have other guests we need to speak to, uh, so we have to wind down here. But we thank you for your insight into all of these because uh, you've given us, uh, uh, you know, uh, a kind of... Um, lecture? A lecture. Let me put it that way. Enlightenment, you know, into some of these things. But thank you so much, Darlington, tomorrow.